Hey guys, in this tutorial, we are going to be looking at how we are going to fix this particular issue we are having with our plugins. You can see from here, we are having plugins here. We are, when I hover on my plugins, you can see it's not even sh showing me where to add, click on add new plugin. And even on this top here, you can see from here, there's no provision for add new plugin. So in this particular tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can be able to solve this issue. How you can be able to bring out the add new plugin to your dashboard. So now without further ado, let's just go straight into the tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to solve this problem. Hello guys, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Bless Channel. In case you just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you can notify each time I upload new video or so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever I upload content like this. Alright, as you can see, this is my the website we are actually having the issue on. Let me just refresh. Sorry, um, I have to cover some part because of just for security reasons to protect the domain. The domain. So I'm just going to see how to reload this particular page so let me reload the page and you can see even after reloading you can see that the add new is not still showing so you let you can see even when i hover on here it's not giving me the provision to click on add new plugin so let me show you how to bring it out quickly so now what you're going to do is just so you heard this issue is not really a hosting issue but it's from actually from your wordpress settings and um, so now let's just go ahead to our hosting. We have to do it from the hosting. So we are going to navigate to our dash. This is my cPanel. So now what I'm going to now do on my cPanel, you're going to click on file manager. Once you click on file manager and it opens, you can see the, my, so I already opened it, it here. So what you're going to do is to come to the WP config. But how do you do that? You can see once you open the, you are going to see the public. Uh, just navigate to where your website is on my own case is on public.html folder file then i'm going to now just scroll down I'll go to where you have the public and uh, wp config then click on edit allow it to open then click on edit then once it opens you can see this is it here so now once you get to this particular place what you're going to be doing is just to rip just to change a value in this particular place so now we are going to i'm going you are going to be changing where you are, you are seeing let me actually zoom in so where you are seeing this particular disable this particular just look for this function where you have this i'm going to be once you just look for this particular function where you are having this particular site so what you're going to just do is to actually change this so we are going to change this true change it to false just change it to false so once you change this to false i'm going to now click on save once you click on save then let's come over to our website now now let's reload the website and see so once you reload this website you can see my add new is now showing add new is now showing here and even when i come here you can see my add new is now showing here so you can see how easy it is to actually fix this particular error so it's something that is easily can easily be done on you and if you if you notice even when it was on tree you can see that the delete button wasn't showing you can't delete this particular button and you all this auto update you're not even showing okay let me just even you know, show you how it was initially so let me return it back to true uh save this then reload this again so that you see you can see it has gone out and you can see my delete is not showing as all those other additional tabs that were yet they were not they are not still showing yet so you can see how so let me quickly go back and turn it back to false so let me turn it back to false and update it so once i update it i come over here and just reload the site again so once i reload you can see it's actually showing back again and you can see my delete is showing and all these other tabs are now showing so i believe you might have actually learned from this particular tutorial and this might have actually solved your problem so if you find this video helpful please share this video and click on the like button and also if you're still watching this video and you've not yet considered subscribing to my channel please 
I beg you to hit on the subscribe button and turn on notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new content or videos like this. So until next time, this is where I'm going to stop. Bye for now.